Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Blue Hawaii is a 1961 musical romantic comedy film that starred Elvis Presley. Also playing supporting roles was Joan Blackman, Angela Lansbury, and Nancy Walters. The screenplay was done by Hal Cantor, and when it was first released, it was number two at the box office for receipts that week that it was shown. Despite getting mixed reviews from the critics, it finished the 10th top-grossing film of 1961, and the 14th for 1962. The storyline goes that having been released from the Army, Chad Gates is eager to return to Hawaii with his surfboard, his native Hawaiian beach friends, and his girlfriend, Mally. His mother, Sarah Lee, wants him to follow in his father's footsteps and take over management at the Great Southern Hawaiian Fruit Company, which is the family business. But Chad is reluctant to do this, and he goes to work as a tour guide at his girlfriend's agency. His very scatterbrained boss is Mr. Chapman. The first clients that he encounters are an attractive school teacher named Abigail Prentice and four teenage female students. One of the students, 17-year-old Ellie Corbett, seems self-centered and doesn't get along with the other three, but she becomes smitten with Chad. Chad's girlfriend, Mally, becomes jealous of Abigail, who is quite fond of Chad. After Ellie's flirtatious ways with another tourist cause a fight to erupt in a restaurant, Mr. Chapman fires Chad, and Mally quits her job in protest. Mally and Chad independently continue guiding Abigail and the four youths. One night, Ellie attempts to seduce Chad in his hotel room, but he refuses her advances. At that same moment, Mally pays a surprise visit to the hotel. Ellie despondently flees in a stolen jeep, intending to drown herself in the ocean. But before she can, Chad pulls her out, attempts to speak to her, and then decides to punish her with a good old-fashioned spanking. In the very next scene, the girls, including Ellie, are having breakfast. Ellie is now pleasant, friendly, and well-mannered, and jokes about the spanking. Meanwhile, Abigail has found romance with Jack Kelman, a longtime business partner of Chad's father. With Jack's help, Chad and his father resolve their differences about Chad's future. Chad and Mally form their own tourist business and begin arrangements to provide tourist services for his father's large network of fruit salesmen in the U.S. and Canada. The film ends with Chad and Mally's lavish outdoor wedding. The movie is the first of three Presley films shot in Hawaii followed by Girls, Girls, Girls in 1962 and Paradise Hawaiian Style in 1965. Producer Hal Wallace was keen to put Presley in a film that showed how the army affected a man. Actress Juliette Prowse, who had starred with Presley in G.I. Blues, was then approached to be his love interest again. But after her demands were put forward, Paramount decided to drop her for that role, choosing Joan Blackman instead. It's said that Presley was so pale before shooting started that Hal Wallace personally recommended a brand of tanning lamp to darken his skin. The movie was announced in the fall of 1960 and was given the temporary title of Hawaiian Beach Boy. Elvis arrived in Hawaii March 18, 1961, to prepare for a charity concert that he was giving on March 25th to raise funds for the Arizona Memorial at Pearl Harbor. 
He arrived at the recording studio March 21st to start recording the film soundtrack. Three weeks later, location filming had finished. After that, the crew returned to the Paramount lot to finish other scenes for the movie. Presley relaxed during filming by giving karate demonstrations with his friend and employee, Red West, which resulted in his fingers becoming bruised and swollen. The producer, Wallace, warned the female stars of the movie to avoid parties that Presley hosted because when they turned up for shooting the next day, they looked really tired. At one point in the film, Chad rebuffs 17-year-old Ellie's advances and tells her that he doesn't want to rob the cradle. But at that time, 26-year-old Elvis was involved with 16-year-old Priscilla, who he later went on to marry. Presley gave his famous ukulele from the film to Hank Garland, also nicknamed Sugarfoot. Garland was one of the top session guitarists during the 1950s that was in Nashville. He recorded with Elvis and toured with him from 1958 to 1961. Elvis etched his initials into the ukulele for Garland. When this film and the soundtrack album proved to be an enormous hit, Presley's manager, Colonel Tom Parker, decided to use it as a blueprint for all future Presley movies, putting him in an exotic setting, giving him one or more pretty co-stars, and making sure he sang enough songs to fill both sides of an LP. That formula without a doubt worked. Elvis ranked among the top ten box office stars in the 1960s. Now, Jenny Maxwell played the spoiled girl in this film, and afterwards, she had some pretty painful memories of it. The story goes that Hal Wallace demanded that she throw herself into the scene where she's trying to drown herself and where she gets hunted down by Elvis and spanked. They shot this scene at least four times. And Elvis had to spank her really hard to make it look real on camera. With the skimpy costume that she had on and it also being wet, didn't provide much protection to her backside from this spanking. She stated that it stung like crazy and left her black and blue. As soon as they finished shooting that scene, they dried her off and they set her on a horse and they filmed all the horseback riding scenes next for a total of three hours of rough terrain riding. At the end of filming that day, she was really sore. Go back and watch this classic Elvis Presley film. It's a fun one. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.